Hey YouTube, it's Ethers, Dark and Light Child here. Today we're going to be doing a video on male gold diggers or guys who are narcissistic, toxic, and who want to use you for your money. You see cards up here, oracle cards and tarot cards. This is going to be for um, another video that I'm going to do right after this because I don't have enough storage on my camera. So yeah, I have to work that out. If you want to know what I'm smoking today, I'm smoking sour and gorilla glue it's a it's a mix and then you have super glue so i like to call them an orgy because i have various weeds mixed together so that's what i'm smoking today and the music that you hear in the background i don't have no copyrights to it so yeah now number one way how you gonna tell these type of guys they like to watch you and learn your behaviors Learn if you're mature or not, if you're insecure, if you have money. Normally, you will have them watching you at your job or if you go to a club frequently and you, you know, this guy will see you there. You probably don't notice them, but they notice you. That's number one. Number two, they're charming and social. Again, they normally be at clubs. They social around their job. They're very social people and they just like very charming. People seem to like them and they come across very calm to people. So they just let them in easily. Number three, they'll buy you like drinks at the club or if you're at work, they'll probably buy you food, something small, little things to soften you up just to see, you know, to test your temperature. It is. And then, of course, if they're doing these things for you, you're going to say, oh, this person is cool. And, you know, don't mind being around them again and again. Number five. No, number four. Sorry. They act friendly or they very cool with you out of nowhere. They become very, like, friendly quick. It's like you'll be like, do I know this person? They'll just come up to you. Hey, what's up? They'll give you hugs. If you with your friends, they'll start talking to your friends like they knew you forever or something like that. Yeah, they, I'm telling you, they're very, very friendly and very charming. And they come across very just nonchalant in a ways, but with a little emotion at the same time, if you can understand what I mean. And then number five. They become very sexual quickly. Sorry, I was taking a pull off on my weed. Yeah, they, they introduce sex pretty quickly. And they think that once they have sex with you, if you allow it to happen, you know, they think all of a sudden they're in a relationship with you. And in my mind, as I know it, sex doesn't equal a relationship, but they'll do that to you. Because if they can have you believe once they have sex with you that you are in a relationship with them, then that's when they can start pressuring you for money, you know, asking you to buy them things. Nine out of ten, they're going to say that they need some money for something. They don't really want you to buy them things. They want the actual money. They want the cash money in their hands so they can buy whatever they're going to buy with it. And it seems like um, I'm going to have a little bit of time. So I probably try to fit this type of reading, this reading here, into this video because it's quite, this is a collective reading right here, actually. And it's quite fitting because it goes along what I'm talking about now, but I would have had to make it a part two. So as you see, the first tarot card here is, can you see it? It's the Hierophant in reverse. Now the Hierophant is a spiritual leader. You know, he's someone that's known in the community. This is someone upright. He's in a reverse here, but in the upright, he's known as a spiritual leader. You know, he's a father you know, he's very mature. He has everything together. People come to him for advice. You know, he's a very sound person. Normally, he's like a, a, a church pastor, or you can say like a deacon or a grandfather. But again, he's in reverse here. So when he's in reverse, he's not doing any of that. Actually, what he's doing is the opposite of that, you know, and if a spiritual leader is doing opposite of leading their their congregation or their followers in a productive way no that that's not good and another thing about this card he's supposed to be someone you look up to and you can't look up to somebody that's like that no because he brings no inspiration he brings no mercy 
He 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 doesn't do any of that. He's very in reverse. Let's get to him in reverse. In reverse, he's very unorthodox. This this type of individual does everything. The perfect word is unorthodox, under the table, very shady person, a very grimy individual. This person will 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 have people fighting and not even realizing he's the one starting the drama. And then over here, you have the three of cups. So the three of cups is about coming together, partying, you know, celebrations, family, friends, just having a good time overall. So, oh, sorry for that. If you have these two cards together, the emperor in reverse, and then the three of cups upright, what do you think you're going to get from this combination? Just think in your mind. You probably, I don't know if you know tarot. A lot of people are familiar with tarot. Just think of this person, a person that likes to party, very social, love to have a good time, but he's very unorthodox. And, and then you see three people. Normally, these type of individuals like to have three parties, you know, third party relationships, threesomes, you know, those type of gatherings. Now, in the middle, it says meditate and contemplate. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? And it has the two fish. That's like a Pisces card, you know, fish going up and down. I'm a Pisces. So, yeah, that's like a Pisces card. And it says meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. So this is the energy that's going on right now. I'm going to see if I can pull one card or for each of these, because I don't, like I said, I don't have a lot of space and I don't want to run out. I want to pull a card for the emperor. I've already shuffled my cards. I've already meditated on my area. So I'm going to try to pull a card. So let's see if we could get a card for the emperor. Can you clarify this emperor? Oh, um, that's in reverse. Whoa, one card. It fell out on the floor. Okay. So you have the knight of wands upright. A knight of wands is somebody who comes in and race impulsively. They like to have sex. They don't like to commit to nothing. They very big on having sex. They come in hot. They very impulsive. They're very charming. Again, a knight of wands is a real charming guy that will have you in your head really feeling him. Yeah. So just imagine an emperor in reverse and it clarifies by the knight of wands. So we're going to have the three of cups here. Let's see what card we'll get for the three of cups upright. Can we have a card for the three of cups upright? Too many cards. Too many cards. One card, please. One card for the Three of Cups upright. Oh, okay. So here we go. We have the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is a person or someone that's not interested. You see how he looks? He's not interested. He's not interested in any gifts coming from, you know, the ethers. The higher would all rule us. God. Heaven. You see the two, the one cup here with the two people facing opposite ways and the heavens in the background. He's looking up, but he's not interested in him at all. No, he's not interested in this. He doesn't want this. He wants an illusion. He wants the party. And it's quite funny how these cards really came out for the reading that I'm having today. Yeah, he wants the party. He wants to be unorthodox, come in hot and heavy, want to have sex. So collective, whoever is out here going through this type of relationship or with a guy and this video, the beginning confirms what I'm saying. No, either walk away or don't take this person serious. The card is telling you to meditate and contemplate on this until next time.